So good evening everyone. NEET PG 2024 counselling will soon begin. Anyway, between uh, 15 to 30 September uh, schedule will come and uh, in October I guess uh, first round joining will begin. So we are all confused about which branch we should take and which uh, branch will suit us. And uh, actually we are confused because uh, we don't know actually what the branch offers because in mbbs we don't get exposure to each and every branches in detail except few here i'm going to discuss that whether you should select a branch by your rank your marks or choose purely entirely on your passion or you should find a midway between both starting from radiology i know uh, that uh, most of us will uh, might be thinking of taking radiology just because of uh, less hectic schedule post pg of course in that less hectic schedule and more money more rewarding branch and it is evergreen branch and money aspect is always uh, on a heavier side when compared to other clinical branches with uh, even more uh, hard work and physical work but it uh, entirely depends on a personality it's a whole different life interventions are also coming so I have seen many radiologists, even after doing diagnostic procedures, um, they tend to go into intervention just because they don't, they don't get satisfied with the job of the only diagnosis, only USG, only CT scan, only reporting of MRI and all. So uh, they go into the intervention. So if you are a person who likes intervention, who, you, who wants to do something on a patient, then you must think before taking even if you're rank even if you're rank one otherwise money aspect is always good on radio side and uh, it is uh, evergreen and rewarding branch second talking about um, about diagnostic branches only pathology pathology is quite underrated and uh, people think that after only clinical branches complete will take pathology but it is not like that pathology as per me my, from my perspective is one of the most important diagnostic branch in need PG. I guess the, any hospital won't work. It is one of the most important. Just the thing is people think they are, uh, that there is saturation and of course there is somewhat saturation when compared to radio which is not even near to any saturation. So pathology is on that aspect is like that but uh, pathology is very vast very vast and uh, even after pathology you can uh, i guess some uh, few dms are also available in uh, cl clinical hematology and uh, even biochemistry people can also uh, apply for a clinical hemat but that is on and off you can check the current uh, last neat uh, assess uh, information bulletin for that the starting pay and the job opportunities are, are quite less until you uh, join in a medical college or otherwise you will have to do your own setup pathology laboratory and all so and you can hire people technicians accordingly so talking about microbiology microbiology is also one of the important uh, diagnostic branches uh, of course there are always uh, vacancy and always you, uh, you will get opportunities in medical colleges sr ap and everything you can set up your own uh, laboratories and all uh, just to think other and uh, somewhat in the medical colleges also where the availability of md microbiology is not there they can select them as a faculty too but uh, this is currently valid or not you can check on the recent guidelines next talking about uh, biochemistry biochemistry is also one of the, uh, our preclinical subject but uh, has an important role in uh, uh, genetic diagnosis and everything and one more important thing apart from this and all that uh, it is also uh, valid for dm clinical hematology uh, in between few years it was not there but now it has been uh, taken into consideration and now it is valid for MD biochemistry people uh, can apply for uh, DM clinical hematology. Next talking about forensic medicine, forensic medicine is a very good branch and not very much interested inclined towards the medical field and all you can simply take forensic medicine and uh, have a, a relaxed lifestyle plus plus you will have um, very good contacts political contacts uh, with the legal team you have very good contacts so uh, if you go into this and by interest each and every uh, person in the hospital will always make uh, good contacts with you at least because uh, your work is like that every branch is uh, have some of the other way 
clinical branches have some or the other way uh, will have to contact you someday at least and uh, it's an interesting branch as, uh, as per me and uh, job aspects are always there in the medical colleges uh, there is of course there is a saturation but if you do from a very good institute the saturation issue won't affect you uh, next thing uh, i'm going to talk about now uh, medicine branches like general medicine general medicine i don't have to say anything if you want to uh, practice and if you want are uh, typically inclined to medicine you can take it you, there are ample amount of dms available uh, even after just completion of your medicine uh, the job opportunities pay scale are always uh, on a higher side always uh, recently there is always a competition between um, competition raised because of a few allied branches of the general medicine like tb chest and family medicine and uh, emergency medicine but it won't affect uh, you because there are ample amount of patients 145 crore indian population doesn't matter either ways general medicine will do a dm and ultimately become a uh, superficialist next talking about uh, pediatrics pediatrics is always one of second choices after medicine if they don't get and once again i think i guess uh, pediatrics is the most versatile branch one of the the most versatile branches that dms are available even uh, i have seen recently that even pediatrics people can do dm in uh, adult cardiology and everything so if you don't get medicine if you are um, interested with uh, pediatrics and you are okay with dealing with the kids and all the nursing staff is always toxic in their pediatrics department we all know but if you are going to tolerate for 3 years and you are uh, ready to take the mental load not always physically but the mental toil of being in the pediatrics their nicu calls and everything you can definitely choose and always the most number of dms i guess if i'm not wrong the most number of dms are available in pediatrics next talking about uh, tb chest one of the most hyped branches after the covid and even just before the covid even and uh, respiratory medicine but uh, if you ask me personally uh, after coming into private practice i uh, i have seen that uh, tb chest or respiratory medicine uh, requirements for job in private sectors and in peripheries are quite low very low there is only few requirements and that too with uh, half the salary of the uh, many other branches working in the periphery and they are flourishing like that because general medicine guy does everything so they tend to give a 50000 more salary make them work everything every everything that comes on that tb just so think before you take branches just don't select and just taking opinion of few seniors and all see broadly see the actual practical aspect to be just few dms are also available and uh, cardiology also is available for dm sometimes it is not then uh, critical care medicine i don't know it is available right now or not and um, so uh, select accordingly and uh, of course it is an end specialty if you don't want an uh, dm to do further but the job opportunities in private sectors is quite low medical college is always there and there is always a requirement because uh, tb uh, units are also separately made so if you are in, uh, interested in bronchoscopy and a little bit of invasion uh, invasive procedures uh, you can definitely go for it and uh, not as hectic as definitely general medicine next talking about dermatology dermatology is quite cool, cool branch and uh, if you want a simple lifestyle 9 to 5 job and uh, you already have a uh, good good amount of money in your bank and you are uh, looking for your own private practice and you can set up lasers and all the all the costly instruments you can definitely go for it but don't select this just because um, uh, it is filled at higher ranks and you have got higher rank so you are considering it as a, it as an option because i have seen many juniors many people have contacted me after taking dermatology and they think they are not made for it because they don't feel anything uh, important being in there because uh, and they have later given another exam for nit pg and they have taken general medicine or emergency medicine or anesthesia because they want to work clinically uh, of course it is a clinical branch but the opd practice is majority times it is just a opd practice in of course pg residency you might uh, get calls and everything from other wards also but 
ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీటింగ్ రెసిడెన్సీ ఇట్స్ ప్యూర్లీ ఎంటైర్లీ ఓపీడి అండ్ ఇట్ లిటిల్ బిట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్వర్జన్ ఇన్ ద హెడ్ ట్రాన్స్ప్లాంట్ అండ్ లేజర్ క్లినిక్స్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ అండ్ సో ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ కాస్మెటిక్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ టేక్ ఇట్ దెన్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడిసిన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ హై బ్రాంచ్ ఆఫ్టర్ సిక్స్ టు సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ సి ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడిసిన్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ డన్ మై నేషనల్ బోర్డ్ డిగ్రీ ఐ సీన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ వర్ది టు టేక్ ఇన్ ఎనీ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ హాస్పిటల్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ లోకల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు టేక్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడి మెడిసిన్ దెన్ టేక్ ఇట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎ గుడ్ సెంటర్ అట్లీస్ట్ బికాస్ యూ విల్ గెట్ టు హ్యావ్ అ గ్రేట్ గ్రేట్ ఎక్స్పోజర్ ఫర్ ద ఇన్స్ట్రూమెంట్స్ అండ్ ద డిఫరెంట్ థింగ్స్ దట్ ఆర్ యూజ్ బికాస్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడిసిన్ ఈజ్ లైక్ స్మాల్ స్మాల్ ఎమర్జెన్సీస్ ఆఫ్ ఎవ్రీ బ్రాంచెస్ కలెక్టివ్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడిసిన్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఇన్ అ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ హాస్పిటల్ ఎనీ థింగ్ లైట్ యూ వాంట్ గెట్ ఎనీ ఎనీ ఎక్స్పోజర్ జస్ట్ యూ విల్ కమ్ అవుట్ కమ్ గో అండ్ కమ్ అవుట్ యాజ్ అన్ జన్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడికల్ ఆఫీసర్ యూ హ్యావ్ నాట్ టేక్ ఇన్ దిస్ బ్రాంచ్ to become a medical officer just emo and of course uh, emergency medicine is uh, eligible for critical care medicine there is only one dm available here and if you are very much inclined and you are not getting medicine then definitely you can consider this branch emergency medicine you will get a thrill if you get uh, a good institute and a good medical college in a good private sector then and then only it is worth to take emergency medicine otherwise you will get bored and uh, you will you might even consider uh, to give another try to need pg even after taking the branch and uh, you can start your preparation uh, if you are interested in dm dm within the residency itself and uh, you can uh, directly get dm critical care medicine uh, with the public review that it is emerging 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 branches are always emerging they never emerge and uh, those who are already emerged and uh, shown their potential those are the branches you must consider first and if you don't get you these are the alternative pathways then uh, coming to nssa nssa is one of the most underrated branches i don't know why people take it at uh, last choice of the clinical it is one of the most demanding branches and uh, no matter how many seats are currently available in nssa there are i think the more one of the most uh, pg seats are available in nssa either in md uh, dnb or diploma anything but still there is ample amount of amount of requirement you don't need any job even after nssa you can just do your freelancing you just uh, visit a particular hospital do your rotis conduct your rotis and take cash there is no issue of anything the icu duties and that uh, uh, critical care things even after nssa you can simply even during residency i have known many people that uh, they are doing icu duties somewhere else they are conducting ot somewhere else during the residency itself so there is a huge scope of freelancing and uh, next day when you complete your pg your results is in your hand you apply for the provisional registration and immediately you can start freelancing and you will earn in uh, more than any surgical branch i can guarantee you you be it chandra uh, surgery ortho ent obgy ofta any surgical branch you will earn better in first at least 6 months if you do for the freelancing proper freelancing uh, then coming to psychiatry psychiatry is a niche and particular branch for those people who are uh, really interested the, i was when i was in mbbs i used to think that i am interested in, in uh, psychiatry and when i really came into the internship and uh, 15 days of posting in psychiatry then i came to know it is not my cup of tea and i don't think it is a, a cup of tea for everyone 99% of people it is not their cup of tea it is a selective branch and uh, must be taken with uh, 100% choice then um, coming to the surgical branches starting with the ortho ortho is a, we all know it is a very good evergreen branch it is a, never going to uh, um, decline anyway but the recent issue is about the saturation and i guess this is the issue for every branch so don't need to worry uh, i know the pay initially has been reduced in last 7 uh, years 7 uh, 8 years before it was uh, like in private sector you can get enough in more job opportunities immediately after passing out recently the opportunities have reduced little bit and the pay also have been reduced uh, 
very much but uh, doesn't matter if you have a passion for ortho you can take it and in a days it is a very good branch then coming to general surgery general surgery is also uh, of course uh, one of the best branches in the surgical field because it offers you ample amount of mchs and all uh, so no need to say anything it is a good branch and even immediately, immediately after completing if you know the basic surgeries then you will get job opportunities enough and more and with good pay scale at least and then coming to ent coming to uh, obgy it is also one of the evergreen branches you don't i don't have to say anything it is the best branch but provided you are uh, okay with the uh, night calls uh, hectic duties during residency and all one thing i want to mention that if you are a male then think in from what area you are coming and uh, which uh, place are you thinking to do your own private or you want to practice because because in many areas it matters really matters that if you are a boy or a girl uh in, in periphery uh, where i practice and even uh, other peripheries also the job requirements are typical like female gynecologists they want female obstetrician uh, they don't demand male so uh, if you are open uh, for that and you are going to run your own private practice and you are marrying with an uh, woman uh, with uh, obgy background it hardly matters even mbbs or uh, uh, bms bhms background you know that opd she will do and you will uh, just do surgeries so it hardly matters even in the cities and even in the peripheries next coming to ophthalmology ophthalmology is also uh, people think that is saturated uh, but it is not saturated at all because the good amount of ophthalmologists are, are there but the good surgeons are very less and uh, i guess if you acquire skills enough and immediately after residency you do a fellowship and all you gain uh, enough and more knowledge about uh, all the basic studies and faco and everything then definitely job opportunity opportunities are very high and you will get equal pay with uh, all the other branches all the other surgical branches like ortho ent and general surgery and obgy and definitely uh, and it has also um, retro retinal and fellowship options in aims and all mchs also are available you just take it Uh, so it is not like that choose wisely once you enter a branch is quite hard to leave any branches in general i am talking about because there is a high amount of uh, bonds anyone in the state medical college and uh, there is much more expectation of your parents so select branch wisely and then only only after confirmation you must take a branch and if you take after enters then don't leave it until unless something extreme happens uh, you must be sure and all the best